Hi everyone and welcome back to the magnificent map of map making. So today, warping in your own units. Um, I've used our, our awesome unit, the Mad Marine, for this. And um, I'm doing this tutorial backwards compared to normal. Um, because I've already done it. Oh, a bit of lag. Um, what I really should have done is kind of pre-gut warp gate, but anyway... So let's just put in some commands. So uh, this will help you a bit, actually, if you uh, when you're testing your map, stuff like fast build and stuff like minerals um, gives you money. And you can also type in Vespin. You can type in the word God. Oh no, that isn't how you spell that. And then uh, God mode, you'll see all units damage is times by a um, hundred, and uh, nothing takes damage. Oh, no damage. That's God. That's God mode. Right, so uh, now that research is complete, we're going to turn off fast build so you can see the uh, unit build. Turn off god mode. So, um, oh, I need to fix this. The cooldown starts already on um, 32 seconds, which I do need to change. But anyway, once that's gone, you'll see um, we can warp in. Um, the Sorry, i stop at that. The animation you use is completely up to you, and I'll show you where you select that. At the moment, I'm using the Zealot, um, Zealots. Um, I, I never know how to say that. Um, warp in animation, so sadly it does actually look like a zealot, and then it um, changes to a mad marine. So here we go, boom. Cost us our 50 minerals, and there he is. Now the uh, yeah the um, the side of um, I've not put the cooldown correctly, so one warp gate can do a hell of a lot of uh, marines. Quite scary, mad marines warping into your base. Yeah, so this is what we'll be doing. Now, um, the reason I've used the Mad Marine is because um, Protoss units, a lot of them already come with like quite a few of the settings they need to uh, to warp in. So uh, the Mad Marine, obviously being a Terran unit, has none of the settings kind of pre-done. So that's why we're using that. So you can use um, any, stru any unit you manage to make, be it Protoss, Zerg, or Terran, or whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. You can... Um, do this. So let's um, close this. So I won't be testing it at the end since you've just seen the result of the video. So uh, there's a Carbot Reaper there, like our boss. Okay, so to start with, this is quite simple. Um, I set out, it took me probably about half hour to figure this all out and kind of just look at Protoss units and then look at the, um, the warp gate and see its uh, train commands and stuff. So uh, once this is finished, not responding. Thank you. So you're going to go to the unit which you want to warp in and you need to go to its standard command card and you need to add two abilities to it. You need to add warpable, which isn't a clear word, um, <laughs> anyway, and progress rally, rally. This means while it's building, as you've probably seen in game, you can set the unit for when it's finished building, it walks to the point of the rally. So um, you add both of those. Now I'm not going to explain those because they come with the game editor. There's, there's no need. Um, if you're just doing standard Protoss war pins, you don't need to understand these. You can just add them. So, so add both of those to your unit. No need to mess with anything else as long as you're in the abilities, ability, add, select warpable, add, select progress relay. Rally, even. Okay. So next, you're going to go to the actor of the unit you've created. And in art model build, you're going to put in the animation or the model you want to um, to build it. So as I said, I've used the uh, Zealot warp in. I'm not sure if the editor comes with like an empty warp in, so that like there's no actual unit being built, but the warp in animation still plays. So uh, there's plenty of those. I looked for a few and I tried a few different things, and some worked, and some were kind of okay. So that's completely up to you, depending on what you're warping in. Or um, even if this is a warp in, I don't know, it could be like a, uh, I don't know, they could come from underground or something. I know there's some unburrow animations and stuff on there. So you'd have to, um, whatever this type of warp in is for you. That made a lack of sense. Okay, so, after you've done that, um, that's all good, sorry. Right, so we're going to go to the warp gate. So um, whatever unit or building you have as your um, warping in structure, or I'm sure you could even have units warping in other units. That would be quite cool. Um, warpable and that, I think, automatically, and this ability, automatically require power fields. 
Um, I think power fields, you can get rid of the requirement of power fields in the uh, command. So obviously I've just gone to the warp gate and I've just added the Mad Marine button. Obviously you could um, put a button here that says warp in. And you go to um, warp gate train. So you can remake this ability or just use this one. And you pull in the button, which I said for you could be like warp in your unit. And then you set the unit. So if we just open this up and I can show you that. So obviously the default button, that's self-explanatory. And then this is what I've done. Here we go, time, that needs to be zero. So the standard for these, I think the zillot's actually 22 seconds, so I'm going to set that. So this is the, this here is the time it's going to take for this unit to warp in. And obviously the cooldown time, that's self-explanatory. And the unit that you're going to uh, be putting in. Um, charges at start, you want one. That's for when the uh, warp gate's finished. And you can even put the charges high, so like one warp gate, if you give it enough time to do use the cooldown like you could have one warp gate ready to spawn in five stuff like that so over time you've kind of got a bigger army re army ready if you've got the money and stuff that could be quite interesting depending on what your map is so um yeah so that's that charge count to one cooldown to 20 sec 22 or well relevance to the cost of your unit i believe it is and um well, that's the way the game balance works and then um info and time yes Right, and you know what, that actually might be much simpler than I actually thought. Um, it took me a while, I said, because I was figuring it out bit by bit. But I do believe that is it. Um, I'm just going to quickly <laughs> rack my brain and f double check, but I really do believe it is. Um, yeah, Mad Marine building. Um, that's uh, abilities, I believe, yeah. That's for the Mad Marine to build the uh, Marine house. Wolf of Ball, add... So add Warper Ball and Progress Rally to the, your unit. Go to your unit's actor and give it a build animation. You want a button for the warp in. You want to add your unit to the warp in build ability, which is on the warp gate or your own one. Set the initial count to 1, the cooldown to whatever you want it to be and the actual warp in time to whatever you want it to be and that's warping in custom units um, if any of that's wrong I will do my best to correct it any more questions feel free to ask and uh, this is a very short tutorial so thank you very much for watching and I shall catch you for the next one goodbye